obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The problem simulates the air conditioning system inside a patient's cleaning room considering the coronavirus. The problem simulates the flow of fresh air through the air conditioning system inside a clean room considering the coronavirus. We place the patient on a bed in a room with a high temperature on his body and constantly spreads the coronavirus particles by breathing through his mouth into the room's interior. In fact, the goal is to use an air conditioning system and keep the fresh air flowing continuously inside the room to remove contaminants from the patient's mouth through the outlet vents. And the room environment should be purified in terms of pollution and a balanced and pleasant temperature should be provided for the thermal comfort of the patient inside the room. There are two main issues in the CFT simulation. The first issue is that the flow of the coronavirus in the respiratory must be defined through the patient's mouth, for which we use a discrete phase model or DPM. Because in this model we track the particles of the coronavirus, we apply this type of view or Lagrangian view in examining the behavior of particles. One of the issues in this CFT simulation is that the patient's comfort should be considered in terms of the temperature of the interior of the room and also the discussion of indoor air conditioning in the current model so that the indoor air of the room is ventilated for fresh air supply. In the present model, the fresh air flow from the upper vents of the room has a velocity and a defined temperature. The patient's body surface temperature is equal to a constant value and the virus particles are injected from the patient's mouth in a specified rate and temperature and also defined diameters. The present model is three-dimensional and is drawn using design model or software. The model consists of a cubic room so that a hospital bed and a patient are designed on it. Also six circular holes are considered as fresh air inlet flow and five rectangular holes are considered as flow outlet sections in the side walls of the room. The left figures show a view of the geometry and also the meshing is done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is unstructured. Cells are smaller in the areas adjacent to the internal boundaries and have higher accuracy. The right figure also shows a view of the mesh. Thermal comfort is a state of mind separate from the equations of heat transfer and mass and energy balance. But it comes from the concept of thermal comfort which is one of the variables that affect the mass and heat transfer in the energy balance model. The most common perspective used to describe thermal comfort for estimating and designing buildings has linked the results of psychological experiments and variables to thermal analysis. In fact, a lot of experiments have been done on humans at uh, universities and these people have different clothes or are doing different things in different situations. Also, the environment in which the experiments are performed has different air temperatures, different surface temperatures, different humidity levels, different airflow velocities, and different uh, airflow patterns. Then the level of comfort of human beings was measured in different states and the response of their average thermal sensation was examined. As a result, the predicted mean vote or PMV for thermal measurement was obtained in the form of the ASHRAE thermal scale. 
the values for this criterion vary between minus 3 and plus 3 and according to this table the different states of heat sensation range from very cold to very hot. Relationships for PMV are divided as a function of six variables including air temperature, average radiant temperature, air velocity, air humidity, wear resistance of clothing and type of physical activity. Finally, the, the PMV relationship is obtained like this formulation as a function of the thermal charge or L on the body, which is the difference between the rate of metabolic heat production or M and the calculated heat loss from the body to real environment condition is defined. There is also a fundamental relationship between the predicted percentage dissatisfied or PPD and a thermal environment as a function of PMV. As the PMV goes to plus 3 or very hot and minus 3 or very cold, the PPD increases meaning dissatisfaction increases. While moving to 0, the PPD decreases and dissatisfaction also decreases. The solver is pressure based. It is injected into the inner space of the hospital room from the patient's mouth. The type of injection process is surface and the type of coronavirus particle is inert. All the walls in this CFT simulation including bed, uh, mouth, human body and surrounding walls, all of them are a stationary wall and the shear condition is no slap. As previously mentioned, the pressure-based solver allows you to solve your flow problem in either a segregated or coupled manner. Using the coupled approach offers some advantages over the non-coupled or segregated approach like simple or simple C. The coupled scheme obtains a robust and efficient single phase implementation for steady state flows with superior performance compared to the segregated solution schemes. This pressure based coupled algorithm offers an alternative to the density based and pressure based segregated algorithm, algorithm with simple type pressure velocity coupling. For transient flows, Using the couple algorithm is necessary when the quality of the mesh is poor or if large time steps are used. The coupled algorithm solves the momentum and pressure based continuity equation together. Uh, you can use the residual monitors uh, dialog box to control the residual information that Fluent uh, software reports. In the equations section, the residual option indicates the name of each variable for which residual information is available. And the monitor indicates whether or not the residuals for each variable are to be monitored. You can toggle monitoring on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the monitor list on or off. The check convergence option indicates uh, whether or not the convergence of each variable is to be monitored. Uh, if convergence is being monitored, the solution will stop automatically when each variable meets its specified convergence criterion. You can check convergence only for variables for which you are monitoring residuals. You can toggle convergence checking on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the check convergent uh, list on or off. And the, finally, the absolute criteria uh, or relative criteria shows the re uh, residual value for which the solution of each variable will be considered to be converged. To set this value uh, manually, enter the new value in the corresponding absolute criteria field. 
and that's it. The standard initialization method has been used and uh, the compute from inlet boundary has been applied. It's obvious that the Y velocity is equal to minus 0.58 meter per second and the other velocities, I mean X velocity and Z velocity are equal to zero. As it is obvious, the Z coordinate minimum is uh, 1.77 meter and the maximum magnitude is equal to 4.67 meter. The maximum temperature uh, is from the patient's mouse and body and also this is the PMV contour. This is the pressure contour that shows an almost uniform pressure distribution in the room. As we can see in this three-dimensional particle tracking, the particles and flow exit from the patient's mouth and uh, enter the clean room environment and then exits from the closest, the three closest inlets. Here is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and its solution in these tables. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy!